Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so in this video, I want to talk just briefly about The Duel by Anton Chekhov. Um, so I finished reading this a couple of days ago. I read it over the course of a week with um, a good friend of mine, um, and we sort of discussed it um, along the way as we read it. I have read uh, a lot of Chekhov's short stories. If you've seen any of those videos on my channel, uh, you will have known that, uh, but I've never read any of Chekhov's longer works. And so The Duel is one of those longer works of um, of literature by, by Chekhov. It is kind of right between a novella and a novel. My edition is right around 107 pages. Um, so, so it's still um, quite short, but it's it's too long to be considered a short story. Um, it's an absolutely um, incredible um, short tale, novella, whatever you like to call it. Um, I don't want to go too in depth with plot summary um, because you can find so many excellent full length, very detailed summary. Um, and, and analysis um, sort of articles, so many places online. Um, and so I, I, I just want to give a very brief um, sort of uh, a couple sentences of, of what uh, this novella is about to give you a taste uh, for if it is something that you are interested in reading for yourself. So, so the main point of the duel, our, our main character, our protagonist is a young man, a 28 year old man named Ivan Levsky. And Ivan Levsky is very much a man of the world. He is a man who has surrendered to his vices. And his vices are uh, gambling, women, and drinking. And so he, he is a man of the world. He, he, is, um, he has sort of surrendered his, his self to the, you know, to, to the modern vices, is how a lot of the um, sort of um, other characters in this story um, often refer to his situation in life. In the novel, he, uh, he, uh, he has a friend named Similinko. Similinko is a military doctor, and he is quite, um, he's quite an incredible character. He's very compassionate. He's very humane. He has a, a, a sense of humor. He, uh, he, he's a man of education. He, he is a very well-rounded individual. And at his uh, home, which he always has open to anyone who needs, uh, who needs a place to stay, he has two um, sort of permanent borders. One of those borders is a um, is an aspiring deacon of the church, and the other is a uh, a prominent zoologist named von Koren. And von Koren is is quite different from um, Levski. He is incredibly uh, moralistic, very strong in his morals, very strong on his on um, on scientific thought. Obviously, he is a zoologist. Uh, he goes to science for all of his answers. Of course, this is paralleled by the deacon, who is also a boarder at the same house, who always turns to religion for uh, his answers to everything, whereas uh, von Korn turns to science. So we have science and religion both prominent in the same household, um, two very, um, very strong believers in both of those um, systems, both the scientific system and the religious system are together. And so we get a lot of very interesting interaction, conversation, confrontation between the deacon and, and the zoologist at the Simolenko's house. Um, so lots of very interesting conversations between those two. Essentially, where the, where the meat of the story comes is von Korn's dislike um, for uh, Ivan Levsky. And, and back and forth because he can see all of these problems that Ivan Levsky is um, is having in his life, and he thinks that he could just, if he could just somehow get his point across to Ivan, he would be able to save him from future turmoil. Ivan Levsky really doesn't want to listen to anyone, uh, particularly at the beginning of the story. He is a very um, determined individual. He is a very um, sort of uh, independent person. He, he doesn't seem to take advice very well. He seems to have ideas in his mind of what he wants to do, and uh, he is going to do it whether it is supported or not. 
Um, and for instance, the the main conflict of the story is the fact that Ivan Levsky has been living for the last two years with a married woman who he has fallen in love with. And at the start of the at the start of the story, he receives a letter that his mistress's husband has died. And so he has he has decided not to show his mistress this letter because the moment he does, he is afraid that it will be as if he is asking her to marry him a second time, which is something that he does not want to do. He does not want to marry her at this time. He wants to just be with her because he is scared of the long-term commitment. It's already been two years and he already feels as if he is possibly falling out of love with her. And so he does not want to pursue um, any more time with her because if he feels he's already falling out of love with her after only two years, um, he, he is scared of what a lifelong marriage might look like for him. And so his relationship with the woman who he is living with is really the, the essence of the entire story because each character sort of gives their own advice to Ivan Levsky about what he should do. And sort of they all get on his nerves in different ways. Um, and then, of course, one um, his relationship with one of the characters, I don't want to spoil it in case you are going to read it, but his relationship with one of the characters, as the title implies, does culminate in a duel towards the end of the story. And so we get a lot of very interesting interaction between all the characters. My favorite uh, character interaction um, was between uh, Ivan Levsky and his friend um, Simolenko, just because Simolenko, personally for me, was, was my favorite character. Um, also, it's quite interesting. I, you can see Chekhov himself quite a bit in uh, in uh, Simolenko. Chekhov uh, for, uh, was a was a doctor. That was his main career. His his main career. He was a doctor, and then he was a short story writer second. And so he he treated um, tons and tons of 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 people who could not afford medical attention. He brought people into his personal home to treat them and to let them stay there while they recovered um and, and so some really incredible stuff and so he really uh, put himself into Simon, uh, Simolenko and Simolenko is such a wise um character and, and and he still has so much humor that's what I love about Chekhov's writing in general is he can write very wise characters very compassionate characters but that doesn't mean he has to sacrifice them not being humorous and the entire story itself is very humorous. A lot of times it's quite a, a sophisticated humor. It's quite a buried humor, if you will. You really have to dig into the dialogue, dig into the descriptions to find the humor, but it, but it is almost always there. Um, and, and so it's quite a enjoyable book to read. It's quite an enjoyable story to read. I, 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 I truly enjoyed it. It was my first sort of longer, a longer form Chekhov to read. Um, which I certainly will be reading more of in the future. Uh, so that was just a couple thoughts on uh, The Duel by Anton Chekhov. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down in the description, or not down in the description, but down in the comment field below uh, if you would like. Um, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye for now.